guys like that wind? <laughs> 79 degrees, guys, and extremely windy. Wind's blowing it up. spring or summer until you hear that sound what does that sound to you guys <laughs> I bet you can't guess if you can then you're a die card die hard kid he's smart he's coming out to the soccer complex with ice cream <laughs> holy cow that wind, guys, is something else. Whew. Can you say resistance training? It's one thing to ride in the wind because all you have is your legs to go off of, and that's hard for me. Now, granted, my legs are the strongest part of my body, but when you don't have anything, I mean, yeah, you're pulling on your, your handlebars for a bike, but you're not really working your arms like you would running. And uh, yeah, the wind the last couple days for riding has been brutal. Um, but uh, running, um, you know, I haven't ran in two weeks. So my body's a little out of it. <laughs> and uh, my arms are like, what are we doing? Because my arms have been used to being on the handlebars. And so it's just a little out of coordination of sorts. But um, a good workout today, easy three miles. Um, between 9.45 and 10 minute pace, which I'm fine with. I'm glad it was an easy, short run. But felt good, back to the grind. Um, taking it easy, easing myself back into it. But yeah, two weeks since my last run. Last time was a three miler, four miler, and this was a three miler. And uh, the ankle was a little tired, I will say that. But um, a little tired is not bad we'll see how it does tonight we'll see how it's doing tomorrow morning after i've rested for a little bit but it felt pretty good um aside from being a little tired it, it had strength and i was able to push off um with the wind and all so uh, i call it a successful day um feels good to be back running guys if you know me Hey friends, Anthony here. Thank you for joining me on Running for Distance. It is Wednesday night. It is an easy night. It's a four miler. Last night was a rest night. Monday night was three miles. And uh, just getting things back on track and get back to running. So we'll see how I feel. Ankle has felt good since my last run. So it's been a little tender, a little sore, not too bad considering I went for a run on Monday. So. I was really wondering how things would be after my run and they've actually surprised me and actually have been good so i'll take it that's a plus and it's a positive and so we'll just roll with it and see see what we do how we do how i do <laughs> but uh yeah just gonna go out and get her done four miles temperatures are about 53 degrees it feels great out it is beautiful out a um, little bit of a breeze, but you know what? I'll warm up and I'll get warm and I'll 
I'll be glad I didn't wear a long sleeve shirt. So guys, I'll talk to you later. Hope you have a great time following along in this journey and I appreciate you joining me. We'll talk to you soon, guys soon. Thank you for joining me on Running for Distance. Whoo! Beautiful day. Friday, April 2nd. Good Friday. Um, today is a hard progressive run. I am about to wrap up my first mile. I got a quarter mile to go. The plan is to run five miles with uh, negative splits and try to get a sub eight on my last mile. So that's the goal, that's the plan. The legs are a little fatigued. Otherwise I'm feeling pretty good. It's windy, but it's beautiful out. So we'll see how this goes guys. I'll keep you updated. Well, friends, I did it. Whew. The fact that it's warmer today, it's windy. I haven't had a lot to eat today. I wasn't feeling 100% when I started. The legs felt pretty trashed. I just felt fatigued, just not in it. I pushed myself, I willed myself to that workout today. And if I didn't hit my results, I'm not gonna beat myself up. But I did nail negative splits the entire way. That last mile was a stretch. The last two miles was a stretch. Um, finished with a 757 split for mile five. And that was the goal was to have negative splits all the way and then try to run a sub eight on mile five. So goal accomplished. Guys, that was a hard workout. It pushed me. I haven't ran hard in a couple weeks due to my injury, but I got it done. And now I can say I got her done and it uh, feels good not frustrated it's frustrating when you don't hit what you want to finish but uh i'm relieved <laughs> i'm ecstatic honestly because i just didn't feel it today that's what you got to do sometimes guys even when you don't feel it you go out and you give your best effort and you do the best that you can be the best do the best just go out and get work done and you may surprise yourself you know mind over matter so one foot in front of the other five mile progressive run with a hard mile at the end check mark done appreciate you guys watching have a great afternoon we'll talk to you guys tomorrow
I'm playing Easter Bunny now. And while Easter is not about the Easter Bunny, it is about Jesus resurrecting from the dead, conquering the tomb, conquering death, and the grave, and the cross. And we went to church and we celebrated the resurrection. Now we're gonna have some fun with the kids, filling the eggs with candy, and uh, gonna have a hunt. So they like, they, like, they like the hunt. So I'm filling the eggs with candy and also some money. So the money eggs are gonna be very hard to find. But if they find them, they're rewarded greatly. I say, what? What? Uh, no, I wanted the golf one. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I wanted the golf one. It's not for me.